Hi boys and girls, happy Thursday. For our read aloud today, we have a very fun story called The Scarecrow's Hat. And you can look at the cover, you see that it's about a chicken and a scarecrow and they want to make a trade. I have maybe you've ever traded something, maybe you've traded something with a friend before where you give them something and they give you something and you trade items. Well, we're going to have a story about a chicken trying to make a trade with the scarecrow. Let's see what happens. This book was written by, written and illustrated by Ken Brown. So he wrote it and drew the pictures. Here's a pretty uh, cover page. Just some nice flowers in the field, right? So the scarecrow's hat. Here we go. That is a nice hat, said Chicken to Scarecrow. Yes, it is, replied Scarecrow, but I'd rather have a walking stick. I've been standing here for years now, and my arms are so tired. I'd love a walking stick to lean on. I'd swap my hat for a walking stick any day. Now, Chicken didn't have a walking stick, but he knew someone who did. So the chicken wants the hat, but he says, I'd rather upgrade it for a walking stick if you can find a walking stick. So let's see where the chicken goes. That's a nice walking stick, said chicken to Badger. Yes, it is, replied Badger, but I'd rather have a piece of ribbon. It gets hot and stuffy underground, so I prop my door open with my stick. But I'm always tripping over it. If I had a ribbon, I could tie the door open. I'd swap my walking stick for a ribbon any day. Now, Chicken didn't have a ribbon, but she knew somebody who did. So that's a badger, if you've never seen one before. Badgers, maybe you've heard of before with the Wisconsin Badgers, the college. That's a nice ribbon, Chicken said to Crow. Yes, it is, said Crow, but I'd rather have some wool. My nest is on this high stone ledge, and it's very hard to sit on. I'd love some worn, soft wool to line with it, and swap this ribbon for some wool any day. Now, Chicken didn't have any wool, but she knew someone who did. You see what's happening? The chicken keeps trying to get what an animal wants, but they want something else. That's a nice wool coat, said the chicken to the sheep. Yes, it is, replied the sheep, but I'd rather have a pair of glasses. I have to keep a lookout for the wolf, and my eyes are not as good as they used to be. I really need a pair of glasses. I'd swap through my wool for a pair of glasses any day. Now, chicken didn't have a pair of glasses, but she knew somebody who did. That's a nice pair of glasses, said the owl. Yes, it is, said owl. My old one's broke, so I had to get a new pair, but I'd rather have a pair. The sun streams through my window and keeps me awake all day, which wouldn't matter if I had a good thick blanket to sleep here. I'd swap my glasses for a blanket any day. Now, Chicken didn't have a blanket, but she knew somebody who did. Where did she go to find a blanket? Let's see. That's a nice blanket, said the chicken to the donkey. Yeah, it is, said the donkey, but I'd rather have a few feathers. The flies drive me crazy buzzing around my ears. The tail isn't quite long enough to flick them away. But if I had some long feathers tied to the end of it, I could swap them away easily. I'd swap my blanket for a few long feathers any day. Look at all the flies around the, the horse's ears or the donkey's ears. Quick as a flash, Chicken pulled out one, two, three of her longest feathers and tied them to the donkey's tail. So the chicken finally had something that somebody was looking for. She pulled it right out of herself, all the feathers. 
Donkey was delighted and, true to his word, swapped his blanket for the feathers. So now the chicken is going to start trading all of the things that the animals want with what the other animal wanted. So he takes his feathers, gives it to the donkey for the blanket, takes the blanket. Chicken took the blanket to the owl, who swapped it for his glasses, the old ones, of course. She took the glasses to the sheep, who swapped them for her wool. Look at that sheep in the glasses. She took the wool to the crow, who swapped it for her ribbon. She took the ribbon to the badger, who swapped it for his walking stick. Finally, she took the walking stick to the scarecrow. With a grateful sigh of relief, he leaned his tired old arms on the stick and gladly swapped it for his battered old hat. Chicken took the hat and filled it with fresh, sweet smelling straw. Look at that chicken with the hat on him. What's he gonna go do? That's a nice nest, said Duck. Yes, it is, said Chicken. And I wouldn't swap it for anything. Look at all the work that the chicken went through to get that hat. He swapped so many things. And he used the hat for his little nest. He can lay his eggs in there. Super cute. And then it's just the picture of the flowers at the end, too. So I hope you enjoyed that cute little story of the chicken swapping all those items for the scarecrow to fit with our scarecrow theme this week. So tomorrow you have a fun art project to go with the read aloud tomorrow. So look out for that. And we can close with prayer for today. Jesus, Savior, wash away all that I've done wrong today. Make me ever more like you, good and gentle, kind and true. Amen. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day, okay?